my name is Brad Blakeney, um, Firefighter 3. Um, I got my start, uh, I guess you could say, in public safety with the county back in 1996. I, uh, excuse me, back in 1993, I hired on with the Animal Control Division. Uh, I was there uh, approximately three, three and a half years. Uh, in November of 96, uh, I was sworn in as a police officer. Uh, went through the academy there, served several different locations uh, with the police department, several precincts, and over at special operations on the step unit. Um, there came a time where it was time for me to move on. There was, I, I wanted something different. So knowing what I knew uh, and who I knew at the fire department, uh, I decided that let's give it a whirl. Been here since January of 2010. Have worked at several different stations throughout. Uh, got my start at Station 21 uh, as a probationary firefighter. Moved from there to Station 26, then down to Station 19, uh, where I did six weeks there before I was diagnosed with cancer. I started chemo. Uh, had nine months of chemo. Was on a seven-week cycle, six-week cycle basically. Uh, four, three days up initially and then a day about halfway through, and then week seven started that same cycle uh, for nine months. Um, my time at the hospital was amazing. So from the day that we checked, uh, the morning that we checked in, uh, my wife was there, my mother had come in town from, uh, from out west, and the support that, more so for my wife, um, that day and uh, was amazing. Uh, apparently the waiting room, I, obviously I wasn't there, but apparently the waiting room was filled with folks. My diagnosis initially, you know, that first, those first words, you know, it's kind of like my world was closing in on me. Uh, next morning I woke up and I thought to myself, hey, why worry about something you have absolutely no control over? Um, words that in my faith, you know, God tells me that worry not because he has all things in hand, right? So for that, um, for him to be in my life is, uh, is really, really a blessing for me, was well, truly a blessing during that time. You know, you, you, it's easy to, to lean on him when you're on the mountaintop. It's really hard and, and you ask why and things of that nature. And um, fortunately for me, with my faith, is that, was, that was never a question. Eight years ago, uh, me and several other firefighters had gone to the St. Baldrick's Head Shave event in Sandy Springs. Um, after that event, we thought, hey, we can bring this to Cobb County and have our own event. St. Baldrick's, for some that do or some that don't know, uh, is a childhood cancer research foundation that um, raises most of their funds through these head shave events. Approximately 74% of what's raised through those head shave events is actually put towards uh, cancer research. For anybody that, that might be fighting, this, fighting the battle against cancer or, or anything in their life, you know, um, don't be afraid to talk about it. Don't be afraid to seek help and, and, and comfort from friends around you. Um, if, you've got, if you've got faith that you depend on, depend on that faith. Um, because without God in my life, it would have been a much harder struggle for me. Uh, he provides, um, puts us in situations, you know, people are like, well, why does he put me in that situation? Well, it's, it's those situations are what makes your faith strong. And that's, I fully believe on, you gotta lean on your faith to be able to get through things.